Yep, the guys intend to put the blowtorch on three everyday types of fire extinguisher. The myth that a fire extinguisher can fall into a fire and extinguish the entire fire is sort of general. It doesn't tell what kind of fire extinguisher. So we went and got every single kind we could. We have water, we have carbon dioxide, and we have chemical foam. One of these might work. First up for the slide ride into the fire is the most common type of fire extinguisher, CO2. And to understand why carbon dioxide is used as a fire retardant, here's Fire Physics 101. Fire needs three things in order to burn, oxygen, fuel, and heat. Remove one, and the chain reaction fizzles out, which is exactly how CO2 works. Being heavier than air, it blankets the flames, replaces the oxygen, and the fire triangle collapses. But if you chuck a high-pressure CO2 canister onto a fire, will it actually blow up and put the fire out? Now this one is under the most pressure, 800 PSI, but it's probably the least likely to explode because it has a pressure release valve, and this prevents it from exploding. And carries cocksure, it'll be a fizzer. There is no way a fire extinguisher is gonna fail so catastrophically that it explodes and then extinguishes the fire. But despite everyone's conviction, she and Grant hunker in the bunker, while Tori, with his pre-flight check complete, launches the CO2 tank. Ready? Ready? Run, Tori, run! <laughs> and then beats a hasty retreat. <laughs> Down the hill, Tori only just has time to get his breath back. It sounds like something's hissing. Yeah, the safety valve released before the experiment fizzles out as the pressure relief valve does its job. And 15 minutes later, it's empty. It's a good testament to the safety feature that's built in there. It's designed in an overpressure situation, such as raising temperature, to vent all the CO2 safely. As far as this myth goes, it's busted for the CO2. Hold your flaming horses, Grant. There are still two other types of extinguisher to test water and foam. And unlike the CO2, neither has a safety valve. Will flinging a fire extinguisher into a fire make it explode and put said fire out? Cary, Grant, and Tori have tried a CO2 canister, but it was a fizzer. So, how about a water extinguisher? It's a relatively simple system. This is a pressurized tank, and it's meant to have both liquid and gas in it. Put this in the fire, heats up the water, creates steam, increasing the pressure, and hopefully rupturing the tank. Unlike the CO2 tank that's stored at 800 PSI, the water extinguisher is only under 100 PSI. But it has no safety valve. And we know what happens when you add heat to a sealed water container. When Jamie and Adam did an exploding water heater, they found that by having less water in their pressure vessel, they could generate more steam and thus a bigger explosion. But what we're after here is actually putting out the fire. So I'm not gonna empty the tank all the way down to the bottom, I'm just gonna empty halfway because we're still gonna have some water to try and put out the fire with. So while our twisted fire starters do their thing, let's get a prediction from Carrie. Even if there's a rupture, I don't see the fire going out. This is a big fire, and I just don't think that there's going to be enough explosion to put it out completely. All right. All right, so the fire is ready. So this is water extinguisher. All right, let's do it. In three, two, one. At over 1,000 degrees, the burning coals rapidly convert the water inside the tank to steam under ever-increasing pressure. And remember, there's no safety valve on this one. Hopefully we'll get a rupture. So then water will go everywhere and put out the fire if the myth is true. If not, it's busted. Yep. Right. And five minutes in... Oh, look, it's ruptured. It's actually spraying out water right now. But the volume of water is insignificant compared to the size of the fire. No explosion, no fire going out. No. In fact, right now, that's not any more effective on the fire than, you know, like a tea kettle. Yeah. It's going to take something with a little more kick to snuff out this fire. But at the nine-minute mark, the canister has conniptions. 